Hey guys, it is Patrick. And before you dive into this intermediate accounting lesson, I wanted you to know that you can actually download the notes for this section and specifically this lesson that you're about to watch if you head to my website at www.patrickleemsa.com or you can head over to the description link that's below and I'll put that link to those notes below where you can find them, download them, and print them, and follow along as you watch this lesson. So go do that, and here is your intermediate accounting lesson. All right, in this lesson, we're gonna talk about the purpose of financial statements and why companies issue financial statements in the first place. So let's take a look here at the basics of financial statements. So financial statements are the deliverables that we give to external users regarding the financial aspects of a company. So our job is to actually prepare financial statements and those financial statements become the deliverable that we are gonna give to external users. These external users tend to be investors, but they can be government agencies, they can be competitors, which we don't necessarily want them to have, but since they're public, they usually get it and read it. Um, and we can give these financial statements to our employees so they can understand what's happening in the organization from a very high level. Now, at the end of the day, what are we trying to do? What is investors and ex external users trying to do? Well, these external users or investors like equity investors, lenders, or other creditors, they need to be able to make decisions about providing resources to an entity, to the company. And then one when they're looking at these financial statements, they're trying to make three decisions. What The first decision is whether or not they want to either buy, whether they want to sell, or whether they want to hold their investments with the company. Now, the way that we think about this here is that for equity investors, that means buying, selling, or holding equity investments. If they already own it, should they hold it or should they sell it? If they don't own it or maybe they do own it and they want to maybe invest more, should they buy more in the organization? For lenders, it's not necessarily about buying, selling, and holding investments. It's about whether or not they want to give, take back, or consistently stay with loans that they've given to the company. So there may be provisions where they're able to take back the loan immediately. There may be provisions that they can hold steady if all of the ratios are appropriate to what the loan document says. Or maybe they're looking at a company and the company's asking for a loan. The company's looking at, the bank is looking at these financial statements to see do they have the wherewithal to be able to pay their loan over a long period of time. For other creditors, we're kind of doing the same thing. They're trying to figure out, are they going to get some financial benefits from investing in this company? So when we think about why uh, investors need this information, they need this information to be able to do one of these three things so that they can invest their money in a company. So, so important for the overall reason why capital markets work. Now, financial statements are at its core not about making sure the numbers are correct from an auditing standpoint. Now, I say this being that financial statements need to be accurate, but they don't need to be so accurate that they're down to the penny, which we'll talk about later on in this section. They need to be accurate to the point where they are not materially misstated and that an investor can look at them and make an appropriate decision. We're going to talk more about this later, but if we were to make these financial statements uh, from an auditing standpoint correct, it would mean that we're taking everything to a penny, which may not necessarily be necessary and may not necessarily be cost efficient uh, for the organization. Now, for external users, external users are using the data in these financial statements to make decisions regarding the company. Information from these financial statements can tell us what the future might look like. Again, we don't know what the future is going to look like. Financial statements are not a predictor of the future. Um, well, when I say that, I, I don't mean that, you know, financial statements can tell you what the future might look like, but they're not the absolute predictor of what's going to actually happen for an organization. But if we don't have any information, some information is better than no information. And even if we got last year's financial statement, it might not give us an accurate, it might not give us uh, a total understanding of what's going to happen in the future for the organization, but it's going to give us some direction. And we can make better decisions if we have some type of information to give us a general direction of where their company is going. So that is a look at the purpose of financial statement. From a very high level, our job is to take 
the data the company has, the accounting data, turn it to information in the form of a financial statement, and then take the financial statement, give it to external users, and let the external users see how the company is doing, what the company is doing, so that they can make investments in our company and hopefully continue making investments for the long run. The only way that they're gonna make investments in our company is if they are gonna get a return on their investment in our organization. And that's what a financial statement can help them decide. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. We'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching this lesson. If you enjoy what you saw, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to write something in the comment section below like, I don't know, what's your favorite superhero? If you are looking for the next intermediate accounting lesson, make sure you click on this button right over here. And if you wanna to head to my website and see all of the lessons that are available, make sure you head to my website right here. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.